In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the right side, or also known as the rear, upstream O2 sensor on this Nissan Pathfinder. Let's get started. Let's unplug the O2 sensor first. You can get to the connector multiple different ways. Uh, I'm going to go from underneath. Now if you reach up through the wheel well, you should be able to get to the O2 sensor plug. Press down on the tab and unplug it. Pop that clip out. There we go. Now you want to take your oxygen sensor socket. If you have the crow's foot kind, that looks like this, that would be best. It also needs to be fairly deep. As you can see, the O2 sensor protrudes pretty far down into that shield. I'm going to actually place it one notch up like this so that as I swing down, I can have enough space to pull on the ratchet. Now, if you pull on this, you should be able to break it free. There we go. Now pop this socket off of here. Unthread the O2 sensor. And there it is. Now carefully put your new O2 sensor down in here. Make sure it threads on nice and smooth. You don't want it to uh, cross thread and not actually seat down there. Make sure these wires aren't getting too twisted as you thread it in. Okay, that's pretty much bottomed out. So what I'm going to do now is put my O2 sensor socket back on it. Of course, we're going to finish tightening this up. Okay. Now, with these O2 sensors, they actually have a little crush washer that has to squeeze, and that's what seals it up. So once it gets snug, give it a little extra. You want to squeeze that washer down. That's what's uh, going to make the seal. If you don't make a proper seal, not only can you have an exhaust leak, and that's a safety concern, but the O2 sensor <coughs> won't read properly. Now that it's tightened down, let's remove our tool. Now grab your O2 sensor connector, find the harness on the vehicle side, and try to line them up and plug it in. There we go. Make sure they click. That was, uh, very quiet click, but I felt it. You want to make sure they're actually clicked together so it doesn't come undone as you're driving. And it's important to re-secure this connector here. There we go, that's clipped in. The wire is nowhere near the exhaust. It can't get melted. So there you have it at this point. You can turn on the vehicle, make sure it runs smooth, and take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.